Hello everyone. Now in my first video in um, this blog post on how to unzip files for free online, I showed you how to use unziponline.com. I showed you how to upload one of your zip files and how to um, uncompress it, unzip it, so you could then get those images out of that zip file and download them onto your computer. Okay, now there is another free software you can use. I have used it personally. It's free as well, and you can see it above here. It's called Elite Unzip. Now, it's a free piece of software. It's a free download, and I just want to quickly mention to you all that, you know, um, when you down, this is software that you actually download on your computer, okay? So if I shut that off, this is the software here, Elite Unzip. Now, getting back to this, whenever you look at a free download, um, that you're going to put on your computer, I always suggest that you run a security scan on that particular piece of software first, okay? Um, and check it because, you know, in a lot of free software, you know, um, you get na nasty people out there who think they're clever and they come along and, you know, they're called hacks and they put viruses and malware and malicious programming into these free um, tools that people are using that help them out okay it's not the right thing to do but you know they do it so you know if you have if you have a computer and you're on the internet you should have security on your computer at, or some at some level you know even if it's only free although the free software um, security programs aren't the best they will give you a certain level of protection but hopefully you're running a decent paid version of you know um, security on your computer to protect your computer because you know some of these viruses that can download into your hard drives onto your computer can totally destroy your computer so you should never ever ever be surfing the internet without any sort of security program security protocol on your computer your mobile phone your tablets now I know a lot of you who use Apple programming, you just automatically say we don't need security. Well, actually, yes, you do because Apple has been hacked and people have gotten viruses through the Apple system as well. So just because you're using Apple does not mean you're safe. And don't think just because you you know you have a smartphone, you have this great smartphone, don't think your smartphone is immune from viruses on the internet either. So make sure whatever software program, whatever security software program you're using extends to mobile devices as well, like your, your smartphones and your tablets. Because if they're going on the internet, they need protection. So make sure you do that. So once you've checked your free um, software um, and downloaded it onto your computer, you can get it from this website here. I'll put a link to this for you uh, in this blog post. You'll download it, and what it will look like on your computer is exactly is exactly that. All right, it will download like that. Now, when this program downloads onto your computer, it will also add an extra browser to your Google Chrome, like this here. See, it provides these free um, features and web search on your Chrome new tab. So it, it installs a new tab, and that new tab just basically looks like this. So as you can see, there's my old tab up the top and here's the new tab here. Now if you don't like that tab after you've downloaded the software onto your computer and you're thinking oh my god oh my god do I have to uninstall no you don't have to uninstall the software okay you can quite simply and easily go into your settings click on settings and your settings for your Chrome browser will open up here we go. You're in your settings here. And you'll see this here. So you can disable disable the Elite Unzip extension right here. So you'll just click disable on that and it will take away that um, that extra browser that you don't like. So if you click disable from here, it will take this away and you'll just be left with your old search browser. But I don't mind it. I use it you can leave it there or you can disable it so entirely up to you all right um, so what I want to do is I want to show you what this does okay so I'm going to right click on on this now I've downloaded I'm going to open it it's very quick sometimes it can be quicker than using unzip online okay and say you want to compress turn a file into a zip file so I want to send a folder of pictures I can click on here add a file I can go to my libraries 
and I can go to my pictures and I can take this picture file, file here, I can select it, go in there and I can click compress and I can now turn that into a zip file. Okay, not that I want to right now, but say I wanted to send that particular folder of pictures to a friend or something, I would need to turn it into a zip file. I can do that here, okay, but I, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to clear that. What I want to do is I want to show you how quickly and efficiently it unzips a file. So I'm going to open up my files. I'm going to go into my download files. And I'm going to find a zip file. Say so this one here. Um, I'm going to right click on that. And I'm going to open it with. And I'm going to choose. Elite unzip. See my little zip file there? No, you don't. Click on Elite unzip. It's going to go in there and I'm going to decompress the file. Very, very quick. Decompressing file. There we go. I can view the folder now. And there we go. I can click on that. I can open it. And there's all the pictures. Um, out of that little zip file. Very quick, very easy. I can now, you know, cut those pictures, paste them anywhere. I can move them into a folder. I can use them on a blog. I can do whatever I wish with them. So very simple, very easy, and I hope that's uh, made your life a lot easier. I'm going to sh 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 chop this video short now and finish off my blog. Um, if you have any questions or you use anything to unzip files that, that is free or um, even cheaper paid versions, uh, leave me a comment down below this blog in the comments. Let me know what you do to unzip files um, and, and share with others. Bye for now.